Hi, I'm Dr. Klein, and welcome to Aiken Technical College Biology 102. Today we're going to discuss the morphology of the eubacteria, which are the true bacteria. And the bacteria come in three distinct shapes. One, a coccus, which is spherical, or round. A spir spirillum, which is curved, and if it's very thin, it's called a spirochete. And three, a bacillus, which is rod-shaped, sort of look like little cigars. Now, the model I have to show to you today is obviously a bacillus, so it is rod-shaped, and it has certain structures that you're going to need to know. These short little projections are called cilia, and these would normally be covering the whole cell. And in most bacteria, they're used for locomotion. They beat and cause the bacterial cell to move. In certain pathogenic or disease-causing bacteria, they help the bacteria cell adhere to the host cells. Some bacteria also have a flagella, which is a long whip-like structure that also helps in locomotion. Now here on this model, you can see the cell membrane, which is composed of phospholipids, the cell wall, which is composed of various materials. And in gram-positive bacteria, this cell wall would contain lots of peptidoglycan. And in gram-negative bacteria, it would contain not so much. Out here would be a capsule in some bacteria, and that's not shown in this model. On the inside of the bacteria, we have the nucleoid region, which contains one chromosome of DNA. The plasmids, which are small circular portions of DNA, are usually out in the cytoplasm, and those are not shown in this model. These blue and red dots represent ribosomes, which are the protein factories of the cell. And down there, you can see a vesicle inside the bacterial cell. So that's it for the morphology of bacteria. See you on the next episode.